All right, everyone, thanks for joining the video. Today, I got something amazing to show you, and I don't think a lot of people are talking about this, and it's a really great way to find and discover SREF codes that's built into MidJourney. And I wanna show you where this lives. So over here on the Explore tab, okay, you probably have seen this before where you see different things for you, random, hot, you see all these different images, okay? Well, guess what lives over here also is styles, right? You can use these in your work and discover some really cool things by trying these out. So I've got a prompt that I use all the time to, for testing, Viking. Uh, I also use cheeseburger, I also use fashion model, I use bicycle, uh, and I think I use sunny day. I think I use those a lot, right? So uh, we're just gonna play with Viking for right now, right? And here's what I wanna show you. I'm not gonna give it any other prompts other than the than one, one word. I like to kind of do that just to see what it does. Um, and then uh, it, here, of course, in the uh, grid, it's showing you a person, a landscape, and looks like a still life. And so you can get kind of a clue as to how it might look for what you want. And as you scroll down, you can see, hey, do I want to use that or not? Now, let me tell you, it's really easy to get click happy with this, right? So if I want try this style and I want to try this style and I want to try this style and maybe this style and maybe uh, this style and maybe this style, right? I've got, that's nine. <laughs> We're making nine now, right? So if you're on a lower mid journey plan, that would be kind of cautious about getting click happy, right? But uh, maybe this, you find something that you really like. Okay. So Here's what we made, and let's just go through these real quick. We only use one word, Viking, okay? And uh, of course, this is showing the SREF code, right? That's right here, right? And uh, as we scroll up, you know, we're getting the different images. You know, this is the one that was a lot of green and this kind of coral pinky color, right? Oh, I like this one, kind of a caricature scribbly kind of overpainting thing you might do. Uh, here's one that's just loose marker. Those are really cool. And so as we're scrolling up, we're seeing all these different types of images. And this is all this SREF code, right? Now remember, uh, as a default, this is at style weight 100, right? So you can also go back in if you like this, but you think it's too much or not enough, you know, uh, and you want to kind of adjust, you can do that within the app, right? So let's let's pick this one, for example. All right, so here's this image, right? Here's the prompt, right? If we like this, but we want to control the SREF a little more, remember our trick is just dash dash SW, and then we can add a number. This is the volume number. This is how much you want to put in there, right? So we could, let's just test some stuff. So if we use the power permutation brackets, which is those curly brackets, let's do a 20, let's do a 40, let's do an 80. Remember, we're looking at 100. Let's do a 150 and let's do a 500, right? So that's going to give us five versions of this. And so maybe, you know, with this technique of just using using the Explore tab to find an SREF code that you like, your next step logically is to use the volume of it to get to what you want, right? And as you can see, here is Viking with uh, style weight 20 with this SREF code. Here is 40, here is 80, here is 150, and here is 500, right? And you can see how much of an influence this SREF code has on the idea of Viking just by showing how much uh, the volume of that, right, with the style weight. Uh, another thing that you could do uh, that, that I think is pretty fun is to combine SREF codes, right? So maybe you could use this one and we want to use this one, right? We, we want two, right? So, um, Let's just see what we get with that. 
And then uh, we can, if we like, we can also uh, uh, adjust that with the style weight as well, right? So you can always have uh, a, a lot of fun with this and combining things to see if you like it or not. I don't particularly care for that. It looks kind of not what I wanted, but maybe it's just because uh, the SRF code is too much for it, right? So let's just dial this back down and let's just say uh, uh, dash 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 W uh, and let's just say uh, 35, right? All right, I like that better. I, I like these these first two. There you go. That's combining the two SREF codes. So anyway, just a quick recap, right? Go to the Explore tab, find something that you like, which just say cheeseburger, right? And then find a uh, SREF code that you want to try. Let's do this kind of mess, messy sketch style. And let's do uh, this uh, flat color, bright color style, right? And then just find what you like and see if it's gonna work for your project or whatever you're doing. And then of course, a really great uh, step that I like to do is to record everything in a uh, spreadsheet. And I do ratings and this is how I keep track of all the gazillion SREF codes that I've tried over the years. And um, so anyway, so try it out. Let me know what you think. If you find an SREF code that you're so passionately in love with, it's just the most amazing thing you've ever discovered. Hey, drop that in the comments of this video so we can all play with that one too, right? So, all right, hey, uh, if you wanna learn more about how to use MidJourney better, please jump into our school platform, MidJourney Experience Group, uh, we've got a lot of really great uh, creators just like you learning how to use uh, MidJourney. And we do a live uh, Zoom call every Tuesday. We've got a lot of information there for you. Uh, there's a newsletter. There's a lot of stuff packed in there. We'd love for you to join us. Uh, the link is right there in the description. Just click that and sign up and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. See you.